Right, hello. Uh, basically, we should be recording. I um, have got a couple of ideas for what I want to talk about. I was thinking about leaving them for a while. This one, um, I thought, ah, just come to me about basically um, the word DVD. Yes, uh, they've over they've overtaken videos over the last um, few years. I mean, literally, videos are now old fashioned, and it come to my idea that you know what is so good about a DVD or at least you think it is is how you can put music on it it's an absolutely incredible way that um, basically my friend Walter um, a, a good friend he had this idea that he put a thousand songs onto a DVD and I'm thinking to myself hmm that is a very very good and smart idea. Basically, what it is, I, I I've taken that plunge and it's been well. I think it works well. Now, obviously, when you create a DVD with music on it, sometimes they don't play in a DVD machine. It 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 tells me basically how I want it to be on there when I'm recording it, and I went for one option and uh, it didn't work. But the thing is, it doesn't matter, because you can actually play them on a laptop or a computer with a DVD component. And that's brilliant because I've always said this is a good idea for if you want to put loads of music onto a DVD for somebody. Which I do. I, I want to put like the whole of, say, the Now album onto DVD. I can put so many of them onto DVD like now one to say number 33 and that would be like DVD part 1 and I'd give it to somebody and they'd get all the artwork which is the CD covers and of course all the songs and it's really good it really is good of course somebody might say why why would you put music onto a DVD like that when really they can't play the CD with CD player well they can because you can actually do um, basically when well you put them onto a DVD and they put it onto their computer and so on it could actually be something where they could literally um, play them onto their computer so they can actually edit them for their own personal use and then make their own CDs after it that's if they wanted to do that I mean because as much as I love to make CDs which of course I do it, when somebody when somebody sort of comes to me and says that they want, I suppose in a way I could say that if I wanted a band's discography, like if I was to say that I've got 20 albums by one band because that was their whole collection of like albums of studio greatest hits and live albums and stuff. What I would what I could do is I could say well I'll give you so many at a time, like every sort of like a few months I would give you two CDs and eventually by a year two, whatever, later, you get basically the CDs, but I think in a, in a way I'd be like, yeah, but, you know, I could do better, I could give you one DVD with all of their 20 songs or 20 discs on it and say, there you go, that would be just as um, effective as um, having 20 discs. One good idea. But I do not have much more to say about this. I just think it's a very good idea. I'm sure a lot of people have said it before, but just thinking, what a great idea on how you can make use of a DVD. By not necessarily putting it for video purpose and that, and using the files of music and then putting so many on there because you can do that and I mean you can do that with any idea like like I said Walter did a thousand German songs well they weren't German songs or what they were they were, they were actually German um, I think it was the number ones of the German charts or something and he had a thousand of them absolutely incredible anyway I'm going to leave it there so bye for now